Hello world, welcome to yet another episode of Let's Try Stuff. I'm Josh. I'm Lauren. And today we're reviewing a gin, the Sunset Hills Pioneer Spirit Virginia Gin. And the back of the bottle says, Nestled among the hills of the rural northwestern section of Fairfax County lies the original seat of the Bowman family called Sunset Hills Farm. The origin of the farm dates back to 1649 when King Charles II of England granted the land between the Potomac and Rappahannock Rivers. P Potomac, sorry. Then in 1852, the 8,210-acre tract was deeded as Sunset Hills Farm. Farm. Sunset Hills Farm. I cannot read today. The Bowman family embraced Sunset Hills as a home place, farm, and distillery for many years. The small batch gin is a tribute to this historic site and its link to Old England. This small batch gin. I cannot read. And the website is asmithbowman.com, B-O-W-M-A-N. And I'll let Lauren take over. Maybe she can speak. Oh, it's 40% uh, 80 proof and made in Virginia, actually. Alrighty, well, as soon as I started smelling it, it just burned a little bit. Burned my nose hairs. But aside from that, it... um. It has a nice taste to it. It's kind of on the boozy side. It's kind of on the citrusy side. It doesn't really have that pine needle taste that it's people associate with gin, I think. It was funny. I smelled a typical gin when I was smelling it out of the bottle, um, which is a cool bottle, by the way. If you can see it here, it's got a cork and a cool paper label. Kind of looks like a dollar bill. Um, an old style dollar bill. And so it smelled like a typical gin out of the bottle. Here, lots of alcohol in the scent. I'm glad I'm not crazy. Because I definitely got immediate alcohol burn. Mm -hmm. And I did get a hint of citrus, citrus in the beginning. Yeah, when you come back to it, it's citrusy. But it takes a while to get there. It's not but bad. It's... Once it's poured out, I, I lose a lot of that gin smell for some reason. Which is weird, because it did smell like gin in the bottle when I was smelling it straight out. Taste-wise, very booze forward yet again. Hits me on the tongue and, the, and my chest. Back my mouth everywhere. Yeah, it's not very thick. It's like kind of a, a watery taste for me. And I don't mind that. But I definitely get a different sense of flavor than what you would get with typical gin that's used for like gin and tonics. It's just not the same. Letting it sit in my mouth there and swish it around, I got a little more of the jenniness. Um, I just wouldn't... I had read re reviews for this beforehand and not many were favorable. And I don't know that I'd go out of my way to buy this. No, I wouldn't either, but I did get that feeling. You know, I gave it a moment and then it definitely tasted more like a gin but it's not what you would expect, for sure. It's not great, it's not bad, I don't... I don't love it. It tastes clean, but very... I don't hate it either. Clean, but boozy. Not obviously like a gin. Honestly, if you gave it to me in a blind taste test and didn't tell me it was gin, I'm not... I might be able to guess because it doesn't taste like tequila or vodka, but... But it tastes kind of like a weird combo of those two. It has the citrusiness of tequila and then just the booziness of vodka. So when I sort of breathe through my mouth, it feels more like a gin. But the fact that I have to search so hard for it is a sign that perhaps this isn't the best gin you could get your hands on. 
And maybe I'm biased by the fact that I read four reviews. Um, I didn't read any reviews, and I don't know. With some gins, you get really floral, like with Hendrix. And then with others, you get very juniper, like Bombay. But I don't get either with this. So, I think that covers it. Um, it's drinkable, but as far as gins go, it's pretty run-of-the-mill. Maybe like a 5 out of 10 at best. Yeah, I mean, in terms of just... I'd give it a 4, actually. I don't hate it. I really don't. But the thing is that it doesn't really taste like anything. Right. So, I can't really rate it. I feel like I can't rate it to other gins because they at least have a very specific flavor palette that they're going for and they get that and you can rate based on you know th how that's executed in terms of not tasting too boozy. Well one would assume they're going for a gin taste so yeah way. but I mean in terms of juniper versus floral. Okay well. But I don't really get either I just get a lot of alcohol and then just a little bit of weird citrus and like you said the um after flavor and smell is there but you have to give it a while so okay i think we've covered everything to death now at this point so thanks for watching and we'll see you at the next one